Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of A Week in Geekdom. Today we're going to be doing another room tour video or the collection update. All right, welcome back everybody and finally we're here to another uh, epic room tour slash collection update video on a week in geekdom. I do these things once a year So uh, let's get started first things first uh, The two calic shelves they have a little bit of everything from independent books to Marvel DC vertigo of course uh, IDW a little boom a little bit of everything uh, a Sampler if you will and of course manga. I love every type of graphic novel and uh, yeah, we begin our cube fest here with Berserk. I started reading Berserk back in 2017, I want to believe. And I was immediately hooked and picked up every single manga volume that I could get. And as soon as Dark Horse started releasing the deluxe edition hardcovers, I started upgrading. And it's so worth it. I, I love the original smaller <laughs> volumes, but seeing Miuda's art in oversized format is such a treat. I love it so much. Moving over to the next cube, we've got a new entry into my collection. It is Doro Hedoro, and it is followed by another new entry, one of my current favorite ongoing manga, uh, Beastars. And uh, Death Note used to be elsewhere but now i'm using it to stop the books from falling over <laughs> so it's a good uh paperweight of sorts <laughs> the next one is pretty interesting i decided to split up the cube in half half goes to demon slayer and the other to dr stone my two current favorite shonen jump series so as you can see uh, that's how I'm dividing them and uh, the next row over there up to 16 and 13 as of this video. The next cube is dedicated to My Hero Academia, the long-running current favorite shonen for everybody, and a little bit of My Hero Academia Vigilantes. I need to catch up on that too. I only have the first six and I believe eight it was, uh, volume eight was the last one that came out. But yeah, uh, My Hero Academia up to volume 24 as of this video the following cube has some more random series that i really like that time i got reincarnated as a slime uh, and of course it's being shared with the ancient magus ride here's a couple random volumes right there with uh, black clover the next cube is dedicated to idw i do have more idw series but i i removed them from this cube so it's now just uh, Lock and Key and uh, the TMNT IDW hardcover series. Over here you can see the start of the Mignolaverse with the Hellboy Library Editions and some random Hellboy hardcovers. Uh, as we move on to the next one, here is the BPRD and just the world of Hellboy uh, cube. You got Abe Sapien, you got BPRD Plague of Frogs, the 46 to 48 series, the vampire trade, you got Lobster Johnson, Sledgehammer, Frankenstein. I really need to continue collecting uh, these series. It's just that, you know, Hellboy kind of ended, so <laughs> there's not a lot of motivation to uh, get every single book. But I, I would, in theory, I would like to do so. Uh, this one is double stacked. You can see here, Hell on Earth, uh, Witchfinder. I was going to upgrade to the omnibus but then i said no that's, that's all right i'll keep the trades so i just need to continue getting those uh, next some random dark horse volumes we got overwatch anthology uh the how to Tr talk to girls at parties uh, the first volume of lady killer which was a gift and typically uh if you give me something as a gift i i'm not going to get rid of it i i cherish every single gift so i'm not <laughs> going to upgrade to the library edition i just need to find volume two eventually uh empowered volume one concrete volume one and uh last stand of the records is that's idw i originally wanted to collect transformers hardcovers but i don't have space for any of them so i just uh I'm reading them digitally and I kept uh, Wreckers because it's a badass story. 
And this one, even though it's Dark Horse, uh, that is uh, the world of Edina, I stuck it in there next to uh, Wreckers. Next up, as you can see, this is something new that I'm collecting, the Street Fighter hardcover comic series. So I got the first three, the classic, and uh, the fourth volume. And we'll see how that goes, because I really do want to collect every Street Fighter hardcover. And in the back, you see more of my Dark Horse books. You got Black Sad, one of my all-time favorite comics, Breath of Bones, uh, Black Hammer, the Conan Omnibus when they were at Dark Horse, I uh, only got the first three. The, the other ones are impossible to find for a good price. Uh, this one is Sherlock Frankenstein, part of Black Hammer. I got the first uh, trade paperback, Chunky Boy for Usagi Yojimbo, Fear Agent Library Edition. And then, uh, shoot, it, you can't really see it that well, but the first one is the first hardcover for Castle in the Stars, Volume 1. Uh, I don't have Humanoids books, I, I only have those two, so here's Muse and the Inkal. Uh, followed by Boom. From Boom Studios we got Giant Days. I stopped getting them with Volume 4 because I was running out of space. Uh, I have the Hexed Omnibus there and Irredeemable. Next up we got Klaus, the series and the Winter Special. Welcome back, Volume 1, and I never got Volume 2 now that I think about it. Yay me. There is Suicide Risk tucked in under there. Uh, again, I did not find the rest of the volumes. So yeah, you're going to see that theme a lot in this uh, collection video. <laughs> Next up, the only vault book that I have on this collection. It's These Savage Shores. And then we move on to Image Comics. From Image, we got a lot of books, so let's go. We got Alex plus Ada, Black Magic Library Edition. Oh, and going back, I totally forgot. I am, I, I did get the Complete Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck, and I'm starting to build a Godzilla comic collection. So going back to Image, uh, there, here we have Battle Chasers Anthology, the Black Science Library Editions, Birthright trade paperback set, the Chu hardcovers, the six hardcovers, and tucked away at the end there is um, uh, Death or Glory from Rick Remender. Here we continue with more image books. We've got Deadly Class, Library Editions 1 and 2, East of West Year 1 and Year 2, waiting for that Year 3. Uh, we've got Fatal from Brew Baker. You got Firebug, Ghosted, God Country, Grizzly Shark, Huck, Isola Volume 1, I Kill Giants, Scotty Young's I Hate Fairyland, and that black book over there is Descender. The Complete Invincible Ultimate Collection set, all 12 volumes, followed by Kill Six Billion Demons. Over here we got more series. We got Low from Remender, Manifest Destiny, Monstrous, Moonshine, Murder Falcon, the two Paper Girls Deluxe Editions, uh, Peter Pansifost. Wow, it's so ticked that we never got a volume two out of that. Postal, I need to finish that as well. I got half the series there. Rat Queens, we got Reborn and the Revival hardcovers. And the book right there next to Big Barda is Nameless from Grant Morrison. Moving on to the next one, we got the Strange Girl Omnibus from Remender. Uh, over there you see the rest of the Revival Deluxe Edition hardcovers. Uh, Rumble, Saga, Snot Girl, Unnatural, Skyward, Tokyo Ghost, and Private Eye. This next one is double stacked, as you can see, so we've got a couple random books here. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Afterlife with Archie, uh, Superior from Millar World, uh, Rick and Morty from Oni Press. Uh, we've got an essential book that everybody should have. It is Scott McCloud's Understanding Comics. We've got Grant Morrison's Annihilator. Uh, Red Sonia from Gail Simone. I, I'm missing volume two and three. <laughs> Again, I was going to get the omnibus, but I already had this, so I'm not gonna go to the trouble of selling and, and reacquiring. So yeah, uh, followed by that is my favorite things as monsters. We've got Mouse, Essex County, uh, Through the Woods, The Sculptor, This One Summer, Too Cool to Be Forgotten, Sheets, and Skydoll. 
In the back, I got the compendiums for Walking Dead. I still need that fourth one, and I need that fourth uh, Wicked plus the Divine hardcover to finish off the series. We've got the first three Wayward hardcovers and Witches from Scott Snyder. Okay, so we begin our journey through Marvel Comics. I am a huge Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man and Fantastic Four and the Inhumans are my favorite things out of Marvel. So I really enjoyed that and try and get as many books as I can. But for Spider-Man, I had a lot of in between this and what I'm going to show you uh, right after this. But I sold all of that. And I just kept uh, a few random things that I love from Spider-Man. So here is the Omnibus, uh, you know, the original ones from Stan Lee and all that stuff, up to uh, the Roger Stern Spider-Man Omnibus. And over there you can see the Ultimate Collections, which is basically the Straczynski run uh, in five chunky trade paperbacks. I kept the Superior Spider-Man and basically the later portion of Dan Slott's Spider-Man run, which I really loved. And there is the fifth Ultimate Collection and a few random ones that uh, stuck around my collection. <laughs> the next shelf, we begin with my favorite Avengers book, The New Avengers, followed by my favorite modern event from Marvel. I really enjoyed Secret Invasion. I love the scrolls. And a couple Avengers books right there. You got the Children's Crusade. You got uh, the Anime Within from Avengers. And then we move on to separate series like Angela, uh, Black Panther Secret Invasion. You got the Edmondson uh, Black Widow series. The Oath from Doctor Strange. The Exiles Complete Collection. I'm kind of ticked off that we never got a reprint of Volume 2. Uh, Hawkeye from Fraction, you got House of M, Infinity Gauntlet, Mighty Avengers, The Unspoken, we've got Moon Knight from Warren Ellis, New Mutants, the Demon Bear Saga compilation, and the New Mutants by Zepp Wells Complete Collection, and we move on to Original Sin, Thor and Loki, Red Hulk series from Jeff Parker, uh, leading all the way up to Red She-Hulk couple new entries into the collection, Arrow and Swordmaster along with the Alias Max Omnibus. And this one which has a lot more random series including The Incredible Hulk by Peter David Omnibus Volume 1 and The Immortal Hulk Oversized Hardcover Volume 1. I need to get Volume 2 of both of those. Uh, here we have Runaways uh, Complete Collection, Scarlet Witch from James Robinson, the Secret Warriors Complete Collection from Jonathan Hickman. Got a couple She-Hulk books right there. Silk, The Immortal Iron Fist Complete Collection Volume 1. I'm missing Volume 2. Uh, the Superior Foes of Spider-Man, a great funny series. The Unbelievable Gwenpool. I really love that series. Totally underrated. I made a video on the channel if you want to check it out. Uh, we've got the Oversized Deluxe for Vision from Tom King. Young Avengers and the Young Avengers Gillen Omnibus. You got, uh, I had more Star Wars books, but I gave those away to a friend and I just kept the Darth Vader run, which I really love. Uh, and over there at the end, Avengers No Surrender. Here's my Cosmic Cube, if you will. You've got Annihilation Omnibus, Annihilation Conquest, oversized hardcover, and the War of Kings Omnibus trilogy right there. Uh, Road, War, and Aftermath uh, of Realm of Kings. You got the Guardians of the Galaxy from Dugan, a mini omnibus, as well as Infinity Wars. And a, the Avengers by Jonathan Hickman, Omnibus Volume 1. I never picked up Volume 2 because, frankly, uh, I just I, I prefer the first half of his run. <laughs> and then we move on to Secret Wars, which I do like. Here is my Thor slash Inhumans cube, as you can see, plus Axis and Thanos from Donny Cates. You can see there Thor, God of Thunder, and uh, Thor, female Thor, if you will, Miss Marvel, uh, the Inhumans set, all the way from the secret origins of the Inhumans, all the way to death of the Inhumans, all that stuff. Uh, the Jay Lee and then Paul Jenkins stuff, and then the Charles Sewell, uh, all that. Next cube is my Fantastic Four collection. Uh, pretty small, but 
pretty big actually I, I totally forgot they're all omnibus so you can see there the john byrne series the two omnis followed by mark wade and warengo omnibus the jonathan hickman run uh the fraction stuff in omnibus the dan slot silver surfer omnibus and secret wars oversized hardcover i am a huge fan of the ultimate marvel universe i love it to death and here we have all of ultimate spider-man with uh, miles morales omni and the rest of my ultimate stuff you can see there ultimate fantastic four the ultimates ultimate comics uh, uh avengers ultimate comics uh, x-men ultimate comics whatever everything's there and uh the divided we fall the united we stand events in oversized hardcover okay so now we move on to dc comics and i don't if you don't know about me you know that aquaman is one of my favorite superheroes of all time and i have a cube dedicated to him it actually my whole dc row is double stacked i tend to collect more dc books than marvel or i used to i'm not collecting as much these days but as you can see um this uh is almost all the aquaman releases in collected editions you've got the search for mira death of a prince deadly waters oversized hardcover you got the legend of aquaman you got the atlantis chronicles the two peter david trade paperbacks i'm still salty that that got canceled you got aquaman tempest and then the uh, continuing stuff later in the 2000s uh, the water bearer sub diego serve and protect kingdom lost sword of atlantis uh, you got the new 52 jeff johns omnibus and the Jeff Parker, Cullen Bunn, and Dan Abnett stuff, and then it leads into Abnett's Rebirth run, along with Mira, Queen of Atlantis, and the Aquaman Suicide Squad Sink Atlantis crossover. In the back, uh, we have DC events mixed in with uh, Teen Titans. You got the Crisis stuff, uh, Inf Crisis on Infinite Earths, uh, Identity Crisis, Final Crisis, 52, Final Crisis, Flashpoint, and then we move on to New Teen Titans, which I forgot to continue collecting. Uh, the Jeff Johns Teen Titans run, and then the Titans and Teen Titans from Rebirth, followed by a few Batgirl volumes. You've got Stephanie Brown material, Burnside Babs, uh, and uh, Batwoman from Rucka. Next up is Batman. Everybody likes Batman, right? So we've got mostly important stories. I don't have complete runs when it comes to Batman. You got the Killing Joke Deluxe Edition, uh, trade paperbacks for his famous stories, which include Year One, Dark Knight Returns, The Long Halloween, Dark Victory, Haunted Night, Arkham Asylum, Under the Red Hood, Batman Hush, uh, Heart of Hush, and The Streets of Gotham. Uh, you've got... Uh, the Batman by Grant Morrison. I'm missing volume three. I need to get that. And the Gotham Central Omnibus. You got Batman Eternal. Uh, the Batman and Robin Omnibus New 52. Batman and Robin Eternal. The Scott Snyder New 52 Batman run. All the uh, trades. And of course, Tom King's uh, Batman Rebirth Deluxe Editions. One of my other favorite superheroes, Wonder Woman, as you can see here. Absolute Wonder Woman, this is uh, her New 52 run, which is my favorite. The first omnibus for George Perez run. Uh, Wonder Woman by Greg Rucka. Wonder Woman, who is Wonder Woman and Love and Murder. This is post-Infinite uh, Crisis, if I remember correctly. You got The Legend of Wonder Woman, the uh, nine-issue series, uh, The True Amazon from Jill Thompson, Odyssey of the Amazons miniseries, and then Wonder Woman Rebirth, followed by the Justice League Dark stuff, which is one of my favorite teams, JLD. You got Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark, uh, The Witching Hour, and the first two trades for Justice League Dark Rebirth, along with uh, Justice League Odyssey. In the back, we got more spooky stuff. Demon Knights, Frankenstein, Agent of Shade, I Vampire, Dr. Fate, The Flash, Rebirth, you got a, the Shazam New 52, Green Arrow from Jeff Lemire, Green Arrow from Benjamin Percy in uh, Rebirth, uh, the Power Girl series from Johns and Palmiotti, um, the Demon from Jack Kirby, you got the first volume of Prez, where's volume two? Uh, you got the Paul Dini Zatanna, 
trade paperback, the Black Canary and Satana uh, original graphic novel, the two Harley Quinn Omnis, I'm missing that third one, and uh, Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens Omnibus. Next up, we've got a whole section to, or, or a tiny section to Superman. You got Superman, American Alien, All Star Superman, Superman Birthright, Red Sun, Superman Batman, Supergirl, the Rebirth Superman run from Tomasi and Gleason, followed by Super Sons, and then a couple random oversized hardcovers from DC Kingdom Come, the 20th Anniversary Deluxe Edition, Multiversity from Grant Morrison. Uh, random volumes of Detective Comics Rebirth and Justice League of America The Nail Deluxe Edition. At the back we got Swamp Thing from Scott Snyder Deluxe Edition, Secret Six from Gail Simone, Justice League uh, the first trade paperback from the New 52, which I keep wanting to upgrade to the Absolute version because I do want that in Absolute format and I always forget. <laughs> Justice League, uh, the Dark Side War, uh, instead of the Omni, I got the three hardcovers, followed by Justice League vs. Suicide Squad, which was the only good thing about that initial uh, run for both titles, Justice League and Suicide Squad in Rebirth. Uh, the rest of Justice League Dark is there from the New 52, followed by Seven Soldiers Omnibus from Grant Morrison, the DC Universe Rebirth hardcover graphic novel, Dark Knight's Metal oversized hardcover, the Brightest Day hardcovers, and then we move on to this, which is just a, a mix uh, of things from DC. You've got Darwin Cook's uh, New Frontier, which is one of my all-time favorite books, the Earth One line, I don't have, um, I think I'm missing, yeah, the Superman books and Green Lantern Volume 2, but I have everything else, as you can see there, uh, a random Aquaman hardcover. The Hanna-Barbera stuff, I, I'm missing a few of them, like five different titles, but I'm not going to get them for now. I, I don't know. I'm not super interested in getting everything. So it's just Scooby Apocalypse, Flintstones, Future Quest, uh, Jetsons, and Snagglepuss. Uh, Aquaman Rebirth is there because it didn't fit with the other ones, that's why. <laughs> Uh, so there's that and in the back we got some heavy hitters so you got the Green Lantern by Jeff Johns Omnis all three of them uh, just a, a, a little tiny Green Lantern section right there the intergalactic lawman which is basically volume one of the Grant Morrison uh, Green Lantern run uh, you got the Omega Men from Tom King you got Green Lanterns from uh, Rebirth you got the Godhead event from New 52 and then it goes into fourth world stuff you got mr miracle from tom king you got the jack kirby 100th birthday celebration followed by the orion omnibus from simonson that goes into the fourth world omnibus by jack kirby the jsa omnis from jeff johns and watchmen and the single before watchmen trade that i, I always recommend the minutemen and silk specter simply because of the creative teams darwin cook amanda connor just two of my favorites uh, here we can see the start of the Vertigo stuff. We got American Vampire, uh, Omnibus, and the other volumes that came out. Uh, Animal Man from Grant Morrison, Swamp Thing from Alan Moore, which I'm currently collecting. The Starman Omnibus, uh, obviously missing Volume 3 because that's nearly impossible to get. And here we have Clean Room from Gail Simone, The Dark Knight Paldini Story, Day Tripper, the Standard Trade, uh, Flex Mentala from Grant Morrison, Joe the Barbarian from Grant Morrison, and the duo Kill Your Boyfriend and Vim Manorama from Grant Morrison as well. Uh, Kid Eternity, you got Preacher from Garth Ennis, Sculpt from Jason Aaron, Spaceman from Azzarello and Rizzo. And over here, I, I, I'm still missing the other absolutes and they're out of stock everywhere so i'm waiting for them to go back in stock so i can finish collecting sandman because it's been a pain in the butt not having that full series so as you can see just the two absolutes and the overture uh deluxe edition uh here we have i zombie omnibus uh, the sheriff of babylon Transmetropolitan Volume 1, uh, We 3, we got The Wake from Scott Snyder, we got Sweet Tooth from Jeff Lemire, Why the Last Man from Brian K. Vaughn, 
And over at the top here, one of my all-time favorite series that I'm currently doing videos on, Fables. And right at the top of my Kallax shelf, because they don't fit anywhere, <laughs> you got the Behold Galactus king-sized book, that huge book, uh, reprinting all that stuff from Lee and Kirby. A uh, couple random books you can see there, Sky Doll. Uh, I already had the the other book that I showed earlier, which has that stuff, so I, I have an extra copy there. Uh, random art books and the anatomy of a metahuman. That one, that one spine that has no name is the I forgot the name. Oh boy. Oh the uh, <laughs> the art book from uh, Frank Cho. It's the not safe for work book that he did about female anatomy. <laughs> uh, you can see here Kaiju Max Volume One and Two, and that is the Gamera Complete Collection from Arrow Video. Even though it's a Blu-ray set, it does have the Gamera comics. That's why I have it there. And eventually, I'll add more Godzilla comics to that uh, pile, because why not? Moving quickly to a separate closet where I keep uh, books that don't fit on the Calyx shelf. We got some manga here. Uh, T Your Eternity, Fire Force, Wolfsman, uh, Magical Girl Apocalypse, and Gun. I do have more that are not shown in this picture, which is basically... Uh, Nurse Hitomi, I've got the first Gundam Origin hardcover, and in the back of that, because that's uh, uh, double stacked, is Samurai Deeper Kyo. Here are my Valiant books, as you can see, the deluxe hardcovers. I don't have uh, all of them, just uh, those, as along with trades from Valiant, uh, a couple TKO books, and random Marvel books that don't fit on the Calyx shelf. The finale to all of this, of course, uh, here we have some Junji Ito manga goodness along with Goodnight Poon Poon, Random the Grey World, Spirit Circle, Random Shonen Jump volumes like One Piece, uh, Pokemon Adventures, uh, Hunter Hunter, Prison School, and Naoki Urusawa's Monster along with Pluto, Nijigahara Holograph, and Ghost in the Shell. All right. So that's it, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a whole lot. Thank you for all the likes, comments, and of course, if you're new here and you feel like subscribing, there's the button down below. Uh, be sure to hit the little bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. And you can follow me on social media and all that fun stuff if you want to keep the conversation going. Again, if you want me to review anything that you see here that, I've, uh, that I haven't already talked about on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. So thank you once again. I have to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.